five years and still talking, this is GabNet, the Great American Broadcast Network. Talk like you've never heard it before. had to start this over several different times tonight because things weren't working and I, I'm not going to, uh, I'll explain once I get some callers. Let me put Skype up here. Uh, we weren't able to get uh, 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 the, the pictures going from Skype into the, uh, in, 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 into the show and um, uh, it, it, you know, it, I'll, I'll tell you why in a second as soon as I get some callers here and we can... Uh, we can get going with some kind of a citizen panel. Wow, 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 wow. What a piece of crap this turned out to be. Jeez almighty, hold on a second. Let me see, are we, are we, are we going? Are we even on? Are we on? I don't even know if we're recording. Gee, if we're, you know, okay, here comes, uh, here comes Phil, and I'll bet I can get Phil on there. Uh, let me see here. Uh, uh, Phil, uh, let me see here. Uh, no, I don't have you there, Phil. Let me see here. Phil, are you there? No, I guess Phil's not there. Uh, come on. Come on. There we go. Now we've got some pictures going out. We've got the show going out. Phil, where are you? What happened to Phil? He called me, and then he, uh, he hung up. Um... Uh, I need uh, I need uh, I need a caller. I need somebody to call me. We've been we've been having all kinds of problems tonight. But Phil, call me again. Somebody call me. Are we not on? Is that the problem? We should be. The phone should ring. Oh boy. This is amazing. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. Da, 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 da. I don't know if we're ready to go yet. Let me see here. If I try to call somebody, let me see here. I, I can't even call somebody. I don't have the, you know, this Skype just, this new Skype is just sucks. Okay, anybody going to call or am I just going to sit here? Or am I having problems getting callers? Because it was, uh, well, here, let me hang up again. Let me hang up the Skype. Quit. Okay. Oh. It won't even quit. The Skype. Oh, there we go. Okay, now let me, let me try this again. Let's try this and see if we can get it working. Okay. Now, will somebody call me? Here we go. Hey, Phil, you're on there. Call me. Somebody call me. Ah, okay. There we go. Hello, Josh. How are you? Good. How are you doing? Uh, not very good. Hold on a second. Let me, let, me, let me see if I can put you up here. There we go. There's Josh Wheeler. Okay. We're okay now. Oh, boy. Uh, let me see here. Okay. Um, so uh, th that's a beginning at least. Uh, no, skip tutorial. Jesus, they I hate the Skype. Anyway, uh, so here, here we go, folks. Um, there we go. There's, uh, there's, there's Josh Wheeler. Okay, and uh, did you try to call me earlier and it wouldn't ring or something or? Yeah. Really. Yeah. Took about uh, three or four tries. Said you were unavailable. I was unavailable. Okay, here we go. Here comes, That's the here, message I got. Here comes Phil Meyer, and uh, we can go boom. And uh, all right, uh, there you go. Uh, let's see here. Well, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, okay. All right. There we go. There's Phil. All right. You know what the problem was? No. What? Uh, I don't, I, you know, Skype, on Skype, I have to turn on this thing called NDI, which is what gives all the, puts all the pictures on the screen. Yeah. Right? 
And unfortunately, uh, uh, somehow it turned itself off. I don't know oh. how it turned itself off, but it turned itself off, and that's why I wasn't able to get your pictures coming in. I see. Did you hear me calling earlier? Oh, yeah. Yeah, but you oh. called, but then I I picked you up, and it, it you disappeared. Uh, the thing rang, 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 uh, and so I stopped, you know, and then I called back. Well, I had, Actually, I wrote you, and I said, why don't you call me? I had to restart the thing. That's what I yeah. had to do. Here comes Charlene. Let's see here. Okay, let me uh, let me see here. Uh, I always have to wait a second before I try to. Uh, let me see here. Uh, Charlene would be uh, there. She is. Okay, there's Charlene. Right, no, no, that's not. <laughs> I, if I brought up the wrong thing. Jesus Christ! This is not my night. You know. Is he on the show now? There we go. 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 Okay. Uh, more people on the call. I'm ready for you, too. This is, you know, this is, uh, um, I, I, you know, I, it, it, the technology is just starting to fuck with me. I can't, uh, I'm getting tired of this. <sighs> it wasn't my fault, by the way. You know, I never put, is. Well, I put in a new piece of equipment. I put this thing. Oops. Let yeah, the switcher. Here. Well, I can't show it to you now because I moved it to another. Ah, uh, here we go. Well, is that the new big one? Huh? Uh, wait a minute. Is that oh, the I'll new big it. one? Let me, let me see if I can show it to you. Uh, yeah, here we go. Here, here we go. Can you see? Can you see this? Ah, the new one. Yeah, this is a thing where I can just switch back and forth between stuff just by pushing a button. For instance. If I want to go to the six panel, I just push this button, and there it goes. See, I go back to the other one. Uh, I push this button. If I want me, I push that button. See, see how wonderful that is. Are the buttons lit with logos and yeah, stuff like that? Yeah, I, I, I was able to put my logos in there and everything. Look, wow, see, very nice. See? Yeah, see, yeah, I see. So anyway. But anyway, I installed that, so I kept thinking it was, I always blame it on the latest thing you installed, and it wasn't that. It was that somehow along the way, uh, uh, the NDI thing just stopped working on me. So anyway, uh, let me go back to the other one there, push that. Okay, there we go. Uh, you know, sooner or later, all this will start working. You know, and probably when I switched to the NDI, then the phone wouldn't answer. So I had to restart Skype, and now everything's working. So, how are you all this evening? I'm doing yeah. just fine. Yeah, yeah. How about yeah. you, Charlene? Haven't seen you in a while. Ugh, I was at the eye doctor today. Really? I call it the five hour eye doctor. <laughs> she, she doesn't like me too much, but, you know, I don't care. I said to her, you know, because I, um, I ripped my cornea because I'm very sensitive now. My eyes are dry and mm -hmm. just rubbing my eye too much. I ripped my cornea. Mm -hmm. So I, she says, well, oh, you've been pretty good. You know, your eye looks good. I said, yeah, because I know that if I touch my eye and rip it, I'm going to be sitting here for five hours. <laughs> and, you know, she didn't like it too much. But, you know, so right. why doesn't this woman like you? Because, you know, I'm telling her that when I come there, I have to sit there for five hours. I mean, she doesn't care, but, I mean, I had better things to do than sit there for five hours waiting for her, you know. But Just tell her you keep your eye on her. Yeah. <laughs> she doesn't have such a great sense of humor. I, I'd rather get somebody that maybe had, you know. But she's an ophthalmologist, and, you know, yeah. she knows what she's doing, so. She's a good one, I guess, but, you know. Yeah, well, here comes Tony. Let me see here. Tony, uh, uh, well, uh, he was he had a space last time, and it's on the bottom. But, uh, you know, there he is. Hi, Tony. Hi. How are you doing? I'm hanging in there. I'm watching the Mets hopefully win this game, but who knows with the Mets. Oh, not the debates, the Mets. Yeah, I yeah, got the game. <laughs> but, but, but uh, uh, no, I went to the dentist today, and you know what I... I, I I finally found a dentist that's just terrific. I mean, an artist. Okay, you know, 
Uh, she gets in there and she's close to a nerve, but she doesn't exactly. She can miss it and she can fill it, and you know, I mean, she really, she just really wonderful. But it takes forever. I was in that chair for an hour, you know. I start and if, the, any, if there's anything I hate about dentistry, it's how boring it is. You, well, you said you listen to your music and. I didn't uh, put my music on today. Oh. Since I've been all worried about this thing I'm having on Thursday and whatever, I, I just can't even listen to music in my ears. I'm just annoyed by everything. So I, w I didn't have the music on. Uh, but, uh, I mean, it, it just took forever. I mean, she took a whole hour to do this one tooth. Well, then get the gas, and it'll, f it'll feel like you're listening to music. Yeah, but they don't like to give you the gas, right, Alex? Well, no, they charge now. They charge. Oh, really? Well, A, they charge now, and I said to her last time, do I get some gas or something? And she said, you don't need it for this. Right, oh, really? you know, An and, and of course I don't need it for it. I, you know, with the Novocaine, you don't feel a goddamn thing except some vibration occasionally, and you know, and that's fine. But the point is that the gas just makes the time pass by faster. Can you replicate the sound that you hear when you're on the gas? For me, it's like a, a an in and out kind of whoa, whoa, whoa. You know, uh, I, I can't make the sound that I hear in my head when I, I'm on the I, gas. I don't hear any sound in my head. I just feel really good. Really? I, no, I know I, what Bill's talking about, but I haven't had any gas since I was like five years oh. old. Like that, they the dentist used to say, "We're going to put the old Mickey Mouse nose on you." When I was five. Yeah, and I remember hearing him talk to the hygienist or something, and it would be like, wah, 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 wah. yeah, 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 exactly, exactly. It, no, it's I, an in yeah, and out. Well, you know, uh, but the first time a I mechanical ever, sound. the first time I ever had gas yeah. was uh, during the seventies, when <laughs> dentists, who especially young ones, go, "You want to get high?" That's how they describe it. Do you want gas? Yeah. Do you want to get like high? That. And I go, I can't complain. Mm -hmm. And they never charged you for the gas. Oh. The gas was yeah, just, right. you know. They just put the mask in the gas. <laughs> yeah, and now they charge like $165 if you want gas. Jeez, my guy charges 35 bucks for oh, really? gas. Oh, really? Maybe mine charges less. I haven't asked this doctor. When I had... Yeah. When I wanted gas, when I had the tooth pulled, which I wanted gas, it was. I would take it. Yeah. It was 165 bucks. Wow. You know, but no, but I like the gas. I think the gas is terrific. You know, so I, I don't know. You know. <laughs> yeah, Classical Alex, gas. I think it's getting to the point now, where they actually want to try to drill your teeth with nothing, no needle, no. I, I think they try to do that. Well, no, just you. I make they sure don't I like tell it. Them, you got to give me uh, something. When I, when I first, my Don't first, try to drill with nothing. The first I dentist no, I, I ever can't. went to in San Francisco yeah. years ago uh, did not give Novocaine if, oh, it really? was, if it was just for a filling. Because his claim was there's no pain you're going to feel. It's just you're not maybe not going to feel as much of the vibration. He's not going to feel any pain. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so, so, so my, my first couple of teeth were filled without any Novocaine at all. I mean, it didn't hurt. You know, if if you don't go down near a nerve, it's not going to hurt. They just do that to keep you from squirming. You know. Yeah. Basically. So, anyway. Whatever. I, get crazy. I like when they put the block in and the dental dam and well, the whole thing, and I can the, just relax and lay there. Yeah, she, really? I she hate put, that. She I put can't. the block and she says, I'm putting it in there so you just don't have to work on keeping your mouth open. Right. You know? Do you yeah. get a little stir crazy when they do that? Like sometimes when I lay down, you know, when that light was shining in my eyes, when they were doing my thing, I told the lady, said, you know, it's like a mind over matter. I got kind of a little like claustrophobic. I said, "Can I please?" Tony, stand up? Tony, that wasn't the dentist. That was the aliens. No, I mean, I got <laughs> kind of stir crazy, like because I don't know. I didn't. She's yelling in the back. Yeah, I heard that. <laughs> My mother, they got a double plate in match. She says, "Thank God, <laughs> he has nothing to do with oh, it." <laughs> I heard you yell, Ma, double play. I know. <laughs> no, you know, I used to be a much. You better person at the dentist but as I'm getting older I have like dry mouth and I have a small mouth and I don't know I just can't take it anymore like uh, and like where I'm going I have these younger people that aren't aren't so good with what they're doing they're slow and 
I have to, I don't have the patience right, well, for enough, it anymore. Enough, and, enough talk about <laughs> dentists good. because that's going to make people go away. You know, as though this oh, whole the the, uh, as though this whole show does isn't a reason for them. To no, go away. nobody's going to go away because the the, the Democratic debate <laughs> is oh, so what? boring. But they're not Trump. Uh, it, you know, well, it's over. It's, it's bad. Uh, wait, yeah. wait, it's, Biden's not there. It was. Uh, this it was, is that's tomorrow. It was over at ten, oh. wasn't it? No, no, it was over. At, oh, I no, I, I think yeah, it was it's over still 10. on. It yeah. goes to eight o'clock my time. Yeah. Uh, it's over now. Yeah, it was over. It was over. Yeah, they an hour finished ago. it a couple minutes ago. Just no, about fifteen ago. minutes oh. ago. Oh, really? How long yeah. was it? Uh, it's two just, hours. Yeah, well, three hours. Just short of three hours. Yeah. Too short of three hours. Five well, uh, to seven forty-five here. I watched the f the first hour of it, and I have never seen anything so boring in my entire life. Okay. <laughs> And it was a week, shit show. Huh? Yeah. It was a shit show. Well, it's just that, and, and the, you know, if they ha held, hold, held them for the Republicans, it would be the same thing. You have one minute to say, you know, was to introduce yourself to the audience, and they all say the same thing, you know. And they would be the same if Trump was there. there. I, I found that uh, Elizabeth Warren was a little bit refreshing, and Bernie always is, is somewhat refreshing in that they don't usually do the same thing as everybody else. Okay. Um, it's all free. Huh? It's all free, and we're going to give you reparations, and there's three chickens in oh. every pot. I'll take three. Well, the the Republicans dinner. say the same thing. They just say, it doesn't know. matter who says it. It's politics, and that's all they're doing. And well, they, know, none of those people are going to deliver a thing. It, if you elect those people, uh, all right, all right, they aren't right, going to deliver Phil, on Phil, one hold promise. Up, hold down, Phil. You, you can hold it down a little bit. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. They aren't going to deliver well, on here's, anything. Here's, here's the thing. Every four years, a bunch of people run for president, and then we all sit around arguing which one's the best one and who says what he's going to do. And then when he finally gets elected president and he doesn't do what he said he was going to do, we say, well, gee, I thought he was going to say... He was going to do such and such, and the answer always is, well, you know, they're politicians. Well, then why did you vote on the two, for them based upon what they said they would do? Because you know well, they're not going to do it. Trump said he was going to do stuff, and now we're pissed that he's doing it, or you are. <laughs> he did, I, I, I have news for you, Phil. He didn't, say he, he didn't say a word about what he was really going to do when he was running. They were all yeah. they were all generalities. They were all hyperbole. There was no agenda that he was putting forward. There were no promises he had to keep, because there were no promises he really made. And if you how back, come he's got this sign? Promises made, promises well, kept. Well, because he's a li fucking liar. That's the only yeah, promise. Yeah, he's full of shit. Yeah, he's oh, full of shit. Okay. Yeah, but he's been he's been too much. I mean, have you seen what he's been doing? You know, Phil, what's he been doing? In the last uh, day or two, I mean, oh, he, stop. he's he's attacking the rats in Baltimore. He 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 said he was going to drain the swamp, and all he's done was flush the toilet, and it's you still know, uh, circling. By the way, that's by the way, yeah. let's, let, the let, let's talk for a moment about Baltimore to begin with. From what I hear from some people, in, in, in most places in that city, it's a very nice city. It's the eastern side. Of They're the, saying the, now Baltimore's thanking him for these remarks. I heard now. No, no, that's according to him. According, According to him, right, right. Yeah. Yeah. However, however, uh, do you know who owns the majority of those slums in Baltimore? Those rat infested? Those Trump? Uh, <laughs> no. Uh, uh, Delaney? No. Isn't he from Maryland? No. They're owned by his son-in-law, Jared Kushner. You're absolutely correct. Oh, okay. They're owned by Co uh, Jared Kushner. Well, then they know where to go to get rid of the rodents. Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, don't complain about rats there when you don't clear them out of your own apartment houses that you own. Okay. Yeah, he was uh, talking about Al Sharpton. Oh. Trump and Look, I have no love. I have him. no love for Al Sharpton, but I feel compelled to defend him against Trump. You know, I mean, <laughs> yeah. I like that uh, that statement that he made. He was down at 9-11 with everybody. He was down Sharp there. Sharpton <laughs> said, 
and, and this was pretty good, actually. He said, if I'm a con man, how come I'm not in uh, Trump's cabinet? Uh, <laughs> I, that, that, was, that was pretty good, actually. <laughs> yeah. I mean, like, it, it is funny, a lot of it. But then, I mean, when you think about it, it's not funny, though. He, like, I, I he mean, called Al Sharpton what Al Sharpton is. He's a, he's a bigot and a con man. Well, he's not. And, I don't think he's yeah, a bigot. Yeah, but let's call Trump what Trump is. is. He a, hates white people and cops. He, he was... A, I think that's a generality. I don't think that's he, what Trump said. And I, I agree well, with well, him. That's what Trump said. That's why it's true, Phil. Yes, I see. Okay, he's the president. Yeah, I mean, I you know, I don't he's, like I don't like Sharpton, but uh, I've always felt that he was a bit of a con man. But you know, I mean, uh, so were most politicians in so Harlem. Trump. Harlem politicians, by and large, were always crooks. I mean, look at Adam Clayton Powell Jr. and I live on the fucking street. Yeah, that's right your Adam. street. Yeah. yeah, I mean, that guy was one of the biggest crooks of all time. Uh, uh, Wrangle. Uh, yes. Sir, yeah, remember him? Yeah. Did he not pay taxes? Charlie Wrangle. Yeah, I'm Charlie didn't, Wrangle. He didn't pay. He didn't pay taxes on. I think. There were three apartments he owned in which he was doing exactly what was done to us. He was renting. Yeah, he was a, he was a illusory tenancy. Right. And then yeah. he was renting uh, apartments that he was renting, and oh. he was they were they were rent controlled, but he was renting them at like double triple <gasps> what he was paying oh, for rent. That's worse than a slave landlord. That's horrible. And he wasn't paying taxes to boot. Oh my God. You know, but he has no he problem was, raising your tax. But you know that that was the way of doing business in Harlem. You know, I I have to I have to say, and uh, uh, you know, but uh, you know, so far as you know, the rat infested uh, uh, Baltimore. Uh, one of the reasons it's rat infested is Ger uh, is Jared Kushner, uh, and he doesn't mention that. You know. What are you looking up, Phil? You trying to find out if Jared Kushner owns all that property? No, no. I, I was trying to Jared, get a hold of Corey. Um, uh, what was his name? Matt, uh, who lives in Baltimore, to call the show. Uh, you remember young Matt? Oh yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, I remember that guy. Yeah. yeah. Well, he probably we probably won't hear from him because he probably got eaten by the rats. <laughs> no, he's he's in a band now. I don't know. Uh, I see. I just don't. I just don't know when 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 Trump wakes up and decides. You know what? I'm gonna go after uh, Cummings today. Yeah. He might do that. Like, who's he gonna pick on? Yeah. Uh, you know he. Uh, uh, no, Cum Cummings went after him, and he just punched. No, back. he didn't. He didn't go back. He didn't go after Cummings. He went after somebody on the uh, in the hearings for not. Well, that was Cummings. Yes, but he w didn't go after Trump. Uh, yeah, he did, no, and he he's didn't. been going after no. Trump for a long time. Well, and, I mean, and Trump just let him have it. Well, I I think Trump's a racist because it seems like everybody he dislikes, everybody he feels curries his disfavor, is black or female. I think that's a coincidence. No, sexist. I don't think he, Phil twice. Hey, three, you know, it's like me too. I can't. I you Twi cannot. Look, there was nothing uh, more. You cannot hold say hold anything on a second. Shut against up, Phil. Shut anyone up and color. Listen and learn for a second. When you and, and go ahead, when you go ahead when you go ahead and you do a whole thing of questioning uh, the president's uh, 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 ethnicity and where he's from, you know the oh, birther. Yeah. Oh, wait a minute, the birther yeah, thing. The go. birther thing was purely racist, purely racist. I, and when he when he that. told four women to go back where they came from essentially yeah, that, that is true. as racist as you can possibly be phil and if it walks and like you, a duck and it talks like a duck it's got to be a duck i think you're reading a lot into it that isn't there oh, <laughs> oh. no you're avoiding reading into it what is there no because i'm looking at it's just okay. a simple thing hey go back and fix your own problems let's and then hear, you let's can hear talk what let's hear what, the, what uh, josh has to say josh about trump making fun of baltimore yeah. Well, I mean, I'm not a big fan of Baltimore either, but I mean, I don't really think it's something that, again, I just, I don't understand, like you said, I don't understand where it came from and why it's necessary for the president to spend time on it. I mean, I guess I just wish that people would get a little bit more upset about the that instead of arguing about the substance of what he was 
getting, you know, what he was saying. I mean, in other words, there's no sense in rehashing or, you know, for an hour whether or not Baltimore is a good city or a bad city because that's a subjective thing. I mean, 10 people are going to say Baltimore is the greatest place to live in the whole world and 10 other people are going to say it's a slum from one end to the other. But the real point of it should be is why can't people get upset that the president of the United States is taking hours out of his day to argue with people? About? I mean, it's it's stupid. I mean, I, that's what I don't understand. Well, it is, you know, when you consider what the presidency is and what you have to do as president of the United States, yeah. it kind of, it, there's a big question uh, as to whether um, any of this is just completely a waste of time. I mean, yeah. doesn't he have better things to do? Doesn't he have more important things to do? When does he have time to actually run the country? He, 15 point. tweets on Elijah Cummings over the weekend. I know, 15 too many of tweets. Them. He hates yeah. him too now. I guess that's my point, you know, is, I mean, is, everything isn't perfect by his own by his own words, the place is, you know, going to shit, you know. I mean, everything's falling apart, according to him. So we obviously have problems. So things but aren't going so well that he has all this like that time. since day one. You know? Since day one, he's been on Twitter, and they can't get him off. They can't, you know, give him advice to cool it a little bit. You know, he doesn't use it the right way. He's like somebody's drunk uncle. I mean, it's the same oh. shit well, I mean, since it's, day it, one. It, it's just that there were so many other important things to deal with in this right. world than to go uh -huh. have to spend the whole weekend uh, obsessing on Elijah I'm Cummings. Like tweeted. You know, right. so yeah. Elijah Cummings said said something about you. So where's your where's your thick skin for crying out loud? Ignore it and go on with other stuff. A lot of people said horrible things about Obama, and you didn't hear anything about him pushing back and making. No, nah, you know, he just called the FBI, uh, hunt the guy down, uh, uh, the what? IRS. What? What? He he what? did it the old fashioned what? Wait, way. Wait a minute. Wait, what are you talking about, <laughs> Phil? Yeah, uh, he went about? after people uh, utilizing the IRS Wait, man, who, and the who? FBI. And who went he went after he Trump. Why, why do you think uh, Obama well, and Hillary and all of these people, Obama by October, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait uh, you'll, you'll wait, see wait in this new investigation he, he didn't, he didn't, that those guys no, are going he down. He didn't go after Trump. He was trying Obama to... Obama behind will bars. Will you hold on a second, Phil? He was trying to protect Trump. Oh, yeah. No, no, he was. I mean, the, F was and the, F the FBI was watching Trump, and they were also watching Hillary because oh. of the kind of things that were going on at that time and trying to protect them. And make they didn't Russia. tell Trump that this is happening, that we're trying to protect you. They, they did it surreptitiously to try to catch him. No, now, no, Phil, yes. Phil, bullshit. No, our our bullshit. friend Mr. Obama's bullshit. going down Hell in yes. this report. Sure, sure he is. Sure he is. Yeah, Phil. yeah. Put on the cup. So what? What is he going to go down? Assume the position. What's he going to go down for, Phil? Tell me. I really would you'll, like to know. You'll see. Come out in October. Huh? What? It'll come out in October. Why October? And I wouldn't be surprised why, if they wait, go wait, after wait, Hillary why, too. Why is it coming out? Is in. Why is it coming out in October? Uh, that's when they said the uh, uh, what, what's the name of that uh, report? The Hirsch, Hirschfeld, or uh, I forgot the name of the report already. That they're working on in the Senate to investigate uh, you know, and who and Russian who is, meddling. Who, who is and, who's uh, working on that? Who are the? Uh, uh, they have a independent an I an IG. I think um, I never uh, heard. Have you heard about this, Josh? <laughs> I have no idea what he's talking about. Yeah, I've never now, heard of this. The Senate is investigating, and they have an independent... Turn down your... Jeff, turn turn Jeff, turn down your uh, audio. <laughs> Jeff, turn down your audio. There you go. Okay. Anyway, where, 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 what were you, Phil? What's that? Because uh, I, never, I never heard of this, to be honest with you. Well, it, just like Comey never heard of uh, uh, fusion, uh, the uh, fusion or uh, steel or any of those other people, it seems as though steel has flipped, and uh, he felt he was being thrown under the bus, and uh, you know, uh, and he's going to testify. And wait a minute, who's making all that noise? Is that you, J Dan? Dan? Oh, oh no, that's Dan. yeah, that's you. You're microphone is you've got a well I, 
I can't uh, figure out how to change the settings on it, so well, sorry. Well, but. why don't you, when we're not on, go look and try and figure it out? I did. I did. <laughs> I looked. I looked. I couldn't find it. I Dan, swear. Dan, just Skype me after the show. I'll try to walk you through it. Well, I looked all over the settings. Well, but, just because you looked all over doesn't mean you know where they and are. And also, you're using an iPhone, well, which is not the best version of this. But if you're, I'm using Android, uh huh. What? What? Well, Android. All the all the uh, apps uh, for Skype are pretty much the same. That's the reason they went to this horrible system is so that they're all the same. But if I go look up Skype here, wait a minute, hold on a second. Uh, Skype, S K. All right, Skype. Okay. And you want to bring it up because now the whole show is about this now. Hold on a second. Nah, it, only ten minutes a segment. There's got to be a. There's got to be a, a place where you can. Uh, gee, I is, look. Wait a minute. Hold on a second. It's uh, good Skype, to see oh, Dan, but I think Charlie it's under microphone. Said. Uh, uh, go into settings, microphone. Oh yeah. Okay. Do this. Do you notice at the top of your of your of your uh, app. thing app? There's a picture of you. Do you notice where there's a picture it's, of you? The square it picture of me. Uh, no, no, that's no. A, that's my camera. There's a picture. I don't at the very think he can be on at when the, he does it. At the very top, there's a picture of you. Whatever your picture is that you use on your. No, there isn't. <laughs> there isn't. What is at the very top of... of, of at the very top, it says, Gabnet is using a device that could record or broadcast this call. Oh, that's because you're on. When that's you're, right. When you're off, go to where there's a picture of you. Okay? Take the picture and go down and it says settings. And then under settings... Yeah. I've done that. You've done that and you've gone to... Uh, uh, let's see. Here. Auto, think, uh, automatic I, microphone or something? Uh, no. Uh, where's There's it? nothing about microphone. Uh, calling. Uh, let's see here. No, not there. Uh, let me see here. Well, somewhere there's got to be a place you can set the microphone. Why don't you just not use your uh, phone? Why don't you just use your regular computer? You know? Because I don't have a webcam hooked up to it. Or I don't have a webcam. Mm -hmm. So that's uh, why. Wonder if you use your phone as a webcam. You know, if you could plug the phone into the uh, no, computer. No, I, I know. And then choose its camera. I don't think I, that's more technology, technology, technological know-how than I. Uh, yeah. Didn't think to do at the moment. You know what? I, I went to Skype on my iPhone, and I cannot find where you would get to that area. Huh. It's not there because I looked. Mm. So, what were we talking about? Oh, we were talking about your iPhone. No, I mean before that. <laughs> Yeah. I'll say the T word. He'll well, go off again. We've just been joined by Charlie <laughs> Wallace here as well. Well, I, I don't know. It's, you know, it, it, it's your sound's okay now, so let's not even deal with it. Yeah, uh, right. Dealing, yeah, let's dealing with technology. If sometimes, if I have one thing that when I listen to, sometimes I complain about is that I'll I'll, I'll listen in and it'll be ten minutes of just uh, tech. Minutia talk, just like that. Uh, yeah, exactly. So that's so, why I'm like, okay, so. now we got to talk about Dan and Skype. Whatever, go ahead. <laughs> yeah, I'm belaboring by talking about that. Exactly. We've been joined by Charlie Wallace. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, by the way, let me let me for a moment. I want to talk to uh, 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 Kevin because uh, he uh, he lives. You live near Gilroy, right? Hey, I can smell it from here. Yeah. Yeah, uh -huh. I could smell gunpowder from here. Yeah, oh, yeah. The shooting, yeah, yeah. That was quite a deal. I mean, the, the it was uh, the, the, still uh, going on. The Gilroy the Garlic Festival. The gar uh, well, the Garlic Festival is one of the most uh, famous kind Disgusting. of events. What? Yeah. It was uh, you know, it's we iconic, were though. we were uh, we were going to be volunteering there that yesterday or Sunday. Really? 
But uh, mm. I had to go to my granddaughter's uh, birthday party on Sunday. So, yeah, we were volunteering for the band. As a matter of fact, my daughter's band director was there. We knew about, I don't know, we probably knew about 20 people that were there. Wow. Uh, my the, da- the two teachers that my daughter had at school, mm-hmm. and they went to Washington, D.C. with last month or June, I guess. For the DC trip, they were right there. Well, Both of them were about fifty feet away, and they, they were in a couple of the Kevin? pictures in the national. Kevin, in the national. Didn't they say this was premeditated? That the guy bought the gun at the yeah, the guy July? was a he was a, he was a Nevada. Yeah, we were talking about empowerment. So he lives in, in, in Nevada. Oh, really? No, he lives. He lived right in Gilroy. He lived about. Uh, well, but he had. He lived about about a half a uh, just across the street. Uh, yeah, basically creek. around the corner. Across he's the creek. dead. They shot him. Yeah, within yeah, a they minute. They shot him within a minute. And what was his reasoning? What do they know why? Uh, he's not he was, talking. They said that he, uh, the the people in the band that were right there, heard him say. Somebody said, well, "What are you doing this for?" And he said, "Because I'm angry." He was and just started unloading. It was mm. premeditated, though. Yeah, he cut a hole in the fence and climbed through from the creek. It's kind of bushy in that area, and he cut through the cut through the fence and uh, basically loaded up the magazine and started unloading. Uh, if he wanted to commit kid. suicide, why didn't he just shoot himself in the head? Well, well that's what I would have liked to see him. But I think he wanted to be a mar- martyr. He he could have he could have really wasted people if the cops hadn't got him as quickly as they did. Yeah. yeah, you could have wasted a lot of people because right where he was, yeah, that was real people quick. sitting and eating. You know what I was doing Sunday when that happened? Uh, I was uh, in a training with a number of rabbis, and we were training uh, uh, the, the same kind of shooter scenarios for the rabbis to learn how to uh, protect their synagogues uh, uh, through the uh, Shabbat of Northern California. Uh, we, uh, my friend Steve and I, and a, a few other people, are training these guys to uh, in the scenarios. You know, like putting chairs in and having the active shooter uh, come in and shooting the targets and then moving the parishioners. Is there a point uh, out here? The is area. there a point here we can get back to Kevin and, and about uh, Gilroy? Oh uh, yeah, well that's kind of what it's about dealing with the active shooters and right I, I thought a lot about that stuff but you know it's just it's 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 bullshit he he had an assault weapon and that's what really pissed me off uh, assault style weapon ass- they said assault ssk oh that's a chinese one it's one of the uh ak chi- type 47 it's, it's a cheap AK-47? chinese yeah he bought it up in nevada brought it back well, he couldn't have bought it in california shower. No. If yeah, because he, uh, yeah, he, he was nineteen, uh, Nevada allows eighteen-year-olds to buy, and California have to be twenty-one. Okay, now you can't you buy those have... in California at all. Oh, the you know SKS. Phil or... always says, "Was there something wrong with him?" You know how Phil always says something like that. Like, yeah, I had, would imagine he had, uh, he had anti-Semitic uh, postings. He had. Yep. Uh, racist postings, and we were talking last week about, you know, empowerment and how the, you know, Mr. Trump's up there, you know, empowering these people, Uh, and we talked about someone's going to crack, and here we go. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's that's been quite a few uh, incidents. It's always blaming somebody else. Well, no, I'm not blaming anybody else. It just triggered somebody. No, you know, I don't mean to step There's a lot more of them out there. If you ask me. I don't need to get defensive, guy. Phil. I don't know why. I'm not defensive. I, I think it's bullshit. The guy was going off. I don't. He was showing that, you know, remember the torches and Jews will not replace us. Yeah. And it was a whole commentary this guy did. And, I, you know, it was really powerful. So when you're saying that, I'm thinking about what this guy said today. That he is giving all these crazy people license to do these things. Yep. You're reading Absolutely. that into it. They could they could be sitting, sitting at home and maybe getting help, but they're not. They're getting up and they're getting guns and they're going and doing shit because of they're getting permission to do it. That's okay. what I'm starting to feel. Yeah. And it happened a little bit too close to people that I know. Are they all okay? Kevin? Fifty feet away. Know? They have Thank six God. kids. They had 
two of the two band leaders and six kids that I know were fifty feet Are away. Were they traumatized? Were they close to it and saw wow. stuff? Or? Fifty feet. Oh God, they saw stuff wow. then. You know, he, he, the, there was two vendors and their three-year-old, and they're traumatized. Uh, and they were the two vendors were wounded. I think they were selling honey, and the no, three-year-old. No, they weren't wounded. Their bosses were wounded. I know those two honey ladies as well. Uh, right I thought the they they got the the kid under the table. Uh, yeah. yeah, yeah. The honey ladies live up in Piscinas behind us. And are, are people dead? How many? All people? right, but let, let, hold on, hold on, dead. hold on a second. We we you know all week long, weekend long. There there were three of these shootings in the United States this weekend alone. Yeah, of this yeah. of this sort. It wasn't the only one. It wasn't it was the, the only one. Walmart. Yeah. Yeah. You know, and I, the qu the question is, when are we going to do something about it? I know Phil's going to go. It's not, it's not yeah. the gun; it's the people. Well, if the people didn't have the gun, maybe they wouldn't have had. Well, the then only the bad people will have the gun. Yeah. If you take it away, yeah. it's the law-abiding oh, citizens that are going geez. to give them up. I Phil, I've, I've, I've yeah. um, let's talk about the assault weapons. I mean, why okay. do you have to have an assault weapon? There's no difference between that. And it's just the way it looks. There are other well, guns that do the same thing that don't look the somewhere. same. If start you somewhere. If you hang grenades, only the bad people have, 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 have hand grenades. Thing? Yeah. Are you going to give yours up? Stock? Remember the bump Bill. stock thing? I don't know. It's, it's, I feel like I, I got a question Tony, for you. Tony has something he wants to Yeah, say. you know... I was thinking about it, too. It, there has been so many shootings. But this whole thing really started with the Columbine shooting, I think, about 25, 30 years ago, when they went nuts. When are we going to start maybe examining the parents? Like, say for the Dylan Keeble, those Keeble kids, whatever his name was, the parents had to see there was an issue with these two kids. Can it be maybe, I'm not saying guns are they're part of the problem, but what about the parenting? They know they're sitting on two time bombs of kids. And I think the parents are turning a blind eye. These two kids, it started with Columbine back in Denver. And the yeah, schools. You know what I yeah, it is. It is. It has and to do with people. And the administrators that don't turn them in. Got a mental that's, problem. The reason, that's the reason they're calling for background checks in the first place. But nobody wants those either because yeah, the NRA keeps the NRA saying NRA you don't wants need a background, background check. But here's my point, Ken. Don't you that. think the parents are failing then with those, with those two shooters in Denver? I mean, you shit, know, the parents, the new crazy the kids, parents kids, Tony, he's nuts. The parents are saying they had no idea. Oh, come you on. Know? Find them. That's bullshit. Well, you know, no, sometimes parents know. are so removed, they send them to school. Mm, they, yeah. they don't know. They don't care. I, I, I mean, maybe they don't know they're going to be killers, but they got to know they have some kind of mental disconnect. Oh, isn't well, it so they cute? Don't they're little Nazis. They're go you only see what you want to see. In a way, sometimes you don't know because in this case... The uh, parents actually thought the kid was one of the victims. I mean, I think well, who, it's, I you know, think you're, I think the parents are, are fucking failing, really. I really do. I think the parents I do too. I, I would put like, that it past. This. It's like, also the school. It's fucking crazy. He's got a problem, and you know what? He probably gets it from the parents. Because they get the head up their fucking ass. It's the schools. It, you know, they see them for eight hours a day. It's the administrators. And it's the left hand doesn't talk to the right. When they've got somebody that's acting out, uh, they're afraid to, to say anything because they're afraid to get sued. And when they it gets to the point that they're ready to Phil, explode, uh, it's too late. Uh, I, they ought to give I, immunity to these administrators so that they can come forward. I hate to say this, Phil. School is six hours a day. My, I, I, six, I, I got to get my... Can I say I always, I, had, yeah, I always had to stay after school. Like I'm going to try to get my sister to come on the show one time because she's a teacher and she teaches the special type kids. Alex, the stories, these parents are horrible. I can't even go into it how bad they are. You're right, Tony. They are fucking. I'm going to try to convince you. You would, you would, your head would explode, Alex, with these parents. You're right, she's, Tony. We can't. It's, 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 it's insanity, really. Or Oh, oh yeah, Dan, Dan's like a kids. substitute teacher. Yeah, so I'm a kids, substitute teacher. So you know, I've, I've a few we, of those stories. Hey, we I had mean, a substitute. Dan, we had a substitute teacher when I was in sixth grade. Kid, the guy's name was Zufo. We made that poor bastard cry. <laughs> he was, you know, and the guy, he had a name, Zufo. I mean, uh, and yeah, you know, did, did the kids give you a hard time or oh, now? Yeah. I I get it all. Yeah, what did he do to you? 
Well, um, I just get told I get told off and stuff like that <laughs> a lot, but not I mean not a lot, but every once in a while. Get and uh, you know, some kids like me better than others. That they, they either love me or they hate me. I find either kids like me or they really dislike me. There's almost no in between. You know? <laughs> you know, you know what's funny when we were kids. Like even if you go back when you were a kid, Alex, we never had this problem like this. Like yes, the shoe no, we were like, beating each other up in the alleys. Yeah. Now they're shooting I never heard of a kid like when I was in school. He brought a thirty-eight in. I must have missed it. I went Is to it the video school. games. Does that make them like the we, guns? We, maybe from the not sight, sight and the drugs that they give them to keep them under control. Maybe they get off the Ritalin or something. I think some of these kids need to be on something. Yes, yeah, so Phil's always saying they're on a. They have ADD and stuff, right? No, I'm saying that they claim. I think ADD is bullshit too. But what they do is they give them drugs to keep them under control, you know, so that they don't disrupt. I've seen it work. Yeah, because they're beating you up. (laughs) That's all right. So you drug them. (laughs) I mean, I used to just be a smart ass. I mean, I was just doing my work and then I would just sit back, bud. So we never had a teacher have to fear for his life. It's like never, or like be scared. They should have gone to my school. <laughs> At the end of the day, we got another thoughts and prayers from the president. Yeah. Uh, uh, can, I, can I? Can I? Can I? Say, can I say something here? It's very important. Go ahead, Alex. It was very mm-hmm. nice having lunch with you, Jeff. Likewise. Uh, okay. That was a good picture too. We had a great time. Yeah. Go ahead. The rest of you can keep talking. I kind uh, of Kevin, Kevin, you mentioned that the parents thought at first that he was a victim or what did you say yeah that's what they said that. today that the parents thought that he was a victim when they first heard about the shooting oh they got scared because they knew he was around there and then they yeah well he, actually... he didn't live with his parents so oh i see all right okay i didn't hear i didn't hear that part and and what was this thing though like he's just a crackpot and yeah had, they don't know they for did. sure the white they just saw some... They don't oh, know. He was a white supremacist. They're just going off his posts on Twitter or Facebook or something. Okay. That's what and then, you know, Tony said all that stuff about uh, Columbine. Now, don't they not glorify the shooter as much anymore? Because everybody remembers Dylan Klebold and who was the other one. And they try not to uh, tell the victim's name so much. and uh, Not the victim, the shooter's name that much anymore. Because they don't want to make heroes out of them anymore. Well, like, I'll, right? tell you, I'll tell you what I hate. What I hate is uh, people uh, like Phil was, well, we can't res- be responsible. These people are crazy. Hey, anybody who does something like this is crazy. Of course they're okay? crazy, right. It, it, it is an act, absolute act of insanity. But, you know, we have to protect ourselves against these kind of people. And the way we can do that is to not make the availability of the methods of carrying these things out available. Okay. All right, let's, yeah, let's uh, let keep yeah, the guns around. You know, we're so not going to stop at all them. by by limiting the sale of guns. We're not going to limit it all by uh, by by making these things illegal, but we're going to slow it down precipitously. And like Kevin said, they don't need an assault rifle. Why is this kid? <laughs> got an assault rifle that's ridiculous yeah yeah uh, thank god phil is quiet now he's bit busy making love to his <laughs> oh, dog. i didn't see that he's giving his dog a boner um or is it a she it's girl it's a girl dog. <laughs> okay. yes it's uh spooky. yes yes dan uh well every other country that has tried gun control it works england Canada, ever Australia, they had a big shooting uh, in 1996. They they uh, put in gun control, and nothing like that has happened since. I don't know what the people like Phil, um, why they think gun control is not going to work here because it works everywhere else. It's tried. Yep. I mean, because you, it's you, a right you, here. You, you take a country oh, like uh, you, 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 wait. You, you so take, wait, oh, wait, wait, so wait, you're wait, right. Your your right is more important than than that little six year old's life. Is yeah. that what you're saying, Phil? Uh, no. The right to bear arms. You no, have a right, I, but it's a right that 
it's, I mean, it's just as important as the First Amendment or any others that I, go so behind I, it. I, I, so, well, so then kids I think are dead I, because I, I, of this concept the, is okay, right. Okay. No, the kids are dead okay. because of the Jesus. Of the can crazy I say kid something? Can I say something? Did you ask? Did you raise your hand? No, fuck <laughs> me raising my hand. Okay. <laughs> All right. Uh, uh, the fact of the matter is that. Uh, as long as we, as you take that position, Phil, about the fucking Second Amendment, which should be repealed, okay, uh, because it doesn't apply, it wasn't written for these times, it was written for the times when Paul Revere went from town to town and went, the British are coming, the British are coming. Oh, and two arms, two arms. Two arms, yeah. That, that, was, yeah. that was the true meaning of it. Gun yeah. went off once a minute. You yeah. had to wait a whole minute for your gun to shoot. Yes, yes, yes. When I went to high school, guys would bring their guns to school and... I don't know what they were doing. Marksmanship class. Tuning them up. I don't know. <laughs> no, it's marksmanship Obviously, class. Today, at that school, the kids are, don't bring in guns anymore. Purposely. Okay? Or, or without purposely. Because the world has changed. And Phil, maybe the Tenth Amendment ought to change. Or the second. Second. Yeah. It's time to go. I'm right. glad you think that way. I don't. Well, I know you don't because you you have the easy uh, answer. It's not an easy answer. You got three guns or whatever. Uh, you know, Sunday while we were practicing, they say you can either be uh, uh, shot when you're running away, shot when you're hiding, or you can take the fight to the bad guy and mm-hmm. shoot him first. Oh my God. And uh, that's. That's what I, you know, that's, I believe that everybody should be armed. You know, the kid went in there, he sprayed for a minute. Freedom, Phil. He never expected to get shot by the police. Well, I'm not, a, I'm not, I don't live life in fear like you do. Why? I, no, I'm so not afraid? in fear. Yes, I'm you a are. I'm yes, you want to have a gun all the time. If, if you you're think not everybody's, if, if, you think there's a bad guy around every if, corner. If, if, if you're, if, yeah. that's hold, not hold true, on a second. If it, Phil, if you're not in fear, then you are instilling fear in others. I'm aware. I I am aware, and I also realize that the reality of today, whether it's it's here or in another country, that if you're not able to protect yourself, that the police are not going to do it for you. and, uh, And you need to do it. And you need to be trained, and you need to be aware. Uh, you know, there's a color code system. Uh, for instance, white is unaware, just walking around. Yellow is cautious. Uh, orange is you see a threat and and you and you observe. And red is you have to you have to act. And uh, most people walk around in white. You need to walk around in yellow because you can't jump from white to red. What is this uh, bullshit? What is this fucking bullshit about? It's Will? Colonel Cooper's what color fucking, code. What fucking? Uh, who gives a good goddamn so that's Homeland shit Security about this guy's fucking color code? Let's all just get get so, armed to the hilt and walk around like soldiers and and be fearful. Oh, I like it. I like it. And how are the police like going to know you're armed at all times and how be going to know? Because I'm a, I'm not breaking the law if I'm but if I'm. You, well. you think about how did we get that way? Yeah, I mean that's kind not of not that way because the world is not a very nice place. Because people started shooting each other. Well, all I'm saying is is that we have a president who gives a sense of permission to people to go out and do this kind of shit. I don't agree with that. Oh, Thank fuck you. you, Phil! You're wrong. You're wrong. No, you're wrong. There's a sense of permission that's been given by this president. It's a racist sense of permission, and it's wrong, wrong, wrong. He, we deserve card. a president who will instill a better set of values in the American public. He is instilling the wrong set of values. Uh, I don't agree with you. Well, you can uh, not agree with well, me. You, you have an opinion. You stated your opinion. I'm telling you, I think your opinion is full of shit. And this racism thing is just more Marxist, well, he's socialist, a, he's, he's a, uh, he, he's a fucking Marxist, racist, Phil. Get over it. 
He's been uh, racist all well, his life. So it goes years, all the way back to the to the Central Park Five, and you can go on and on and on. Also, the way he treated his with uh, his father, and he treated tenants in the buildings, and the way they thought about them. This is uh, they've been racist since he was a child. Yeah. Well, hey. uh, oh yeah, his father uh, just. Discriminated uh, housing discrimination. You right? can't yeah. blame the son for the father's actions. I'm blaming and, the son oh, because whatever. the son's got to know his own actions. actions. Right? Yeah. Yeah. That's look at his father. They continued. wrote it on applications for the apartments. Number nine. Did they? Yeah. What they say? Nine meant that it was a black trying to rent. Well, that's not good, Phil. So. And you know, he he uh, they sued him. And, uh, you know, they I don't know if they settled or if he lost the case or whatever the case may be. Uh, nothing changed. Well, no. The father died, and, uh, you know, he's president. But Life goes on. Yeah. yeah. But I, I think if you, you continue this, uh, you know, type of uh, thing, racist, uh, homophobe, xenophobe, every yeah, phobe but you come up with. What are you, davening? Uh, uh, you know, it's all true. He is racist. He is homophobic. He's absolutely. Not. You're missing the point. You know, you know just, because, I, just because somebody calls out somebody that happens to be a minority or a woman, that doesn't make them a racist. You know, Phil, he's got Phil, a problem Phil, with listen to me. What yeah. makes him a racist is a series of events which he has done throughout his life, every one of which adds up to racist. I'll, you know, I'll give you the Central Park Five as a perfect example, okay? Yes. Five innocent people who he said we should execute, okay? I think he still stands Didn't behind he say that. Lynch? He said lynch them, right? No, he said he no, said we, we should execute them. them. Oh, bring back now, the death what penalty. Was, what yeah. was the Central Park Five accused of doing? They raped a woman. The they were supposedly, they supposedly, they supposedly raped a woman, the uh, but, but they didn't, Phil. Alex, can I ask you a question? Yeah. Charlie made a good point. Do you think he's homophobic, Trump? Only reason why I'm, I'm interested in that is because Roy Cohn was his left, was his right hand man. I, I, I don't think he knew I, about I, sexuality. I don't think he's homophobic, and I think uh, that's a good reason why I don't think he's homophobic. Because he had to know uh, his, his lifestyle. Because uh, uh, if he likes was, Ben uh, Carson, uh, huh? What were you gonna say? What were you saying, um, Charlie? So he, Trump likes Ben Carson. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's true. And Kardashian, or her husband, whatever his name Al is. Oh, Kanye West. Wasn't that kid's name like Left West or something? That's another stupid North thing. Northwest. Oh. Yeah. Northwest. That's me. Come Some, on. Somewhere. They keep it to change his name. <laughs> he gets older and says, Dad, you're an idiot. That's not a name. This is just, it, it, you know, I mean... Uh, I, I just think, again, it walks like a duck. It talks like a duck. I'm going to assume it's a duck. Okay. But Alex, His Alex actions, Trump, Phil. Trump I don't said, need another reciting of the same mantra you keep saying over and right. over and over again. Get used to it. The man's a racist, and you. I uh, see. He turns his microphone off. Uh, <laughs> uh, 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 the man is a racist. Alex, he tried to say that. The people that are calling him a racist, they're the racists, right? That's what he said, right? Uh, I mean, it's... It, uh, it, it, he it, called Donald Trump a racist. And, and what, what, racist. what is amazing to me is he doubles down on being a racist. That's the funny <laughs> part about it. Charlie, well, Charlie, the, Charlie, the, sad, the sad part is, and this is an indictment on this country as a whole, is that he's using racism as a re-election strategy, and it yeah. might work. Yep, that's really sad. Okay, I read an article today, and it was really scary. It was saying things like that, like people, like they, they they're going to vote him in again because the economy is very good right now, and they like this fact that the economy is good. People will say, well, he should quiet down, he should learn to filter himself more, and all this other stuff. And they're probably going to let, and I said, oh, Jesus. And I watched that part, one of this debate thing, and everyone's saying it's showing us who's not going to be elected, you know, the debates, right? Mm -hmm. So I'm getting scared because, oh, God, you know, another four years of Trump, 
I don't know what we're going to, you know, what's going to happen. Oh, man. I mean, what we have to listen to for another four years. Eight more years. He he got robbed for the first four. Oh, God. <laughs> uh, he's going to want to stay in forever. He's not going to yeah, need he, he yeah, he'll change it. Like, like FDR changed it to only two terms. He'll make it that the president, he even said the president should be like a monarch. He's just right? going to be, he it's wants to be life. president for life. <laughs> yeah, yeah, like a dictator. Yeah, he didn't wait. He, he didn't. He didn't care about the Constitution. He didn't right. care about the rule of law. He hasn't demonstrated any of that so far. He's gonna. He's gonna stay in there forever. We're we're living in a, uh, a dictatorship now. A third world banana republic. Recognize this country. We'll have to yeah. take the Statue of Liberty, pull it out of the harbor. Oh man, the Statue yeah. of Liberty. Yeah, that just that's gotta go because that that is useless at this point. Yeah. It won't. It won't pertain to you know this country anymore. Yeah, send her back to send her back to where she came from. <laughs> yeah, right. Send okay, her back let, to let, France, let's right? let's She's let's. She's an immigrant from France. <laughs> let, let's uh, because Phil has his microphone off, and that means he's he's mad at us at the moment. By the way, uh, you know, I have a I have a button here for the single camera. Okay, and who do I have as a button on the single camera? A picture of Phil. So he, he, he should be uh, should be happy yeah, with that. Well, in watching the debates tonight, to begin with, I went, "Geez, you know, they really." To begin with, some of these guys should just quit. Okay, yeah, that's I how mean, I felt that a lot of them should quit. Yeah. Pack it in. Just I mean, pack it come in on, already. what a what a absolute waste of their time and our ears okay uh there were only about three people on that stage tonight who <laughs> even remotely have a chance of getting the nomination would you agree with me on this josh i mean uh elizabeth warren uh buddha and uh and and bernie uh who else was up there uh, sir, uh, oh, oh, what's her name? Mary Ann Marianne Williams. Williams. Well, Marianne Williams. I oh, like her. That, she Wait. she gets pushed off just like you do to me. Uh, you know, uh, when, when she starts talking. Well, she makes about the same amount of sense. So. What about well, uh, that's Roy? because you know you're on drugs or something. I don't. Know. I just felt that uh, number one, the the whole debate got monopolized by a certain core of people, about four or five of them, right? And the rest were kind of shunted to the side. And uh, I feel if that's the case, then why even have them there? You know, why, why was a Marianne Williamson there? What was, what's the reason? Because she has enough money to buy her way in? She's an author. Hey, uh, I didn't think Boot at Edge uh, did a very good job tonight so far. Uh, you know, he seemed to have his talking points uh, and, uh, and then, uh, you know, really didn't, you know make what, many you know inroads. What, you know I think what, he was weak. You know what he'd be good for? It, it, Mayor it, of South no, Bend. No, it, it, when you have a can, when we finally have a candidate being the vice presidential candidate, he'd be perfect. That's a good idea. Yeah, Alex. no. Yeah. Then he goes in, and if if whoever does it becomes president, then he's got a uh, a place to learn the job, you know, and to to get uh, seasoned, as it were. I uh, I think if one of them gets it. That they'd probably pick Harris, uh, yeah, having well, a, Harris, a woman, a woman of color on the ticket. I think tomorrow. it's all about checking the boxes. Uh, I mean, you could, you could be right about that if you're if you're figuring that uh, the you know the nominee is going to be checking the boxes. I think the nominee is going to be Biden, and I think what's going to happen is he'll, you know uh, he'll he'll probably pick Harris. I have a perfect well, line for if, if, he, if, he, if he wants that, to write. Yeah, to hire right. Me as his, Vote blue, no matter who. If he wants That's to hire okay me, as his, I mean, I'll, I'll settle for Biden. Wait a minute, Dan. If, if he wants to, if he wants to uh, hire me as a comedy writer, uh, I would tell Biden that the next time that Trump calls him Sleepy Joe, he should say, "The only reason I look sleepy is you're putting me to sleep." <laughs> Yeah. I'm sure there'll be a debate once, uh, you know, once there's the nominees. You know, I also, this giving names to people also shows no respect for other people. Just no, shows no respect to him. He shouldn't be allowed to, to do it anymore. Huh? He shouldn't be allowed to do well, that. No, it's, he's it's allowed right. to do anything he wants to. But, you know, uh, when you do that sort of thing, it's, um, 
Uh, it's just it's it's just not nice. You're not acting nicely towards somebody what, else. What what, what, what names him. would you it give the people him. on the panel if you if you were Trump? What names would you give everybody? You know, you got like uh, creepy Dan. Uh, you know, yeah, 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 so <laughs> well, you know, but, but, but somebody else gave him that name. What what would you do? You I know? think uh, it would be uh, be uh, uh, Josh the genius. Okay. <laughs> well, that's positive. You got to yeah. be like Trump. <laughs> uh, uh, let's see here. Uh, Santa Claus. Dan the reasonable. Uh, Kevin the nice. Um, wow. uh, Tony the uh, adorable. <laughs> Uh, Jeff, uh, the uh, 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 the gentleman, uh, Charlie, the black guy. Uh, oh, that's man. racist. <laughs> and 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 Phil 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 the asshole. That that would be pretty oh, much the asshole. Well, I, you know, I I love living up to my name. <laughs> but you know, immediately comes out with like Sleepy Joe. You know, I mean, it's it's not like he's a big baby. Like he's got to just. He really should address them, Phil, by their names. You know what they should do if they if they did? I mean, I don't want to get off color, but let's just say he did say, "Hey, Sleepy Joe." He should turn around and say, "Hey, little Dick Don." <laughs> yeah, just throw it right back at him. What do you got I, to lose? I don't think that's lose the happen. election. Oh, little he Dick Don. Say who told you? That would be. <laughs> Yeah, little bit kicked on. Be, that, yeah. Just that was, uh, yes, maybe you got to get in the mud box with this guy and push back. Well, I mean, the, the fact Trump, is, uh, well, that that's why a lot of people feel that Biden probably is going to be the best candidate to go up against him because Biden won't let him get away with shit. He just will not. Uh, he will push back. There's no. He may not be awake for it. No. Yeah. You see, you're saying sleepy Joe. There, <laughs> there you go. You know, yeah, true. Yeah. No, you're you're buying the admonition. I mean, what he does is he applies these names like Crooked Hillary, and then he keeps saying Crooked Hillary, Crooked Hillary, Pocahontas. until all you can yeah. think of her is being crooked. Yeah, you know. she is. Repeat. How, what, yeah. how is she crooked, Phil? Well, you know, does. it just so happens that when she was Secretary of State, the uh, the. Uh, What's the uh, the Clinton Foundation was given a whole bunch of uh, of donations. Is that what he means? White no, no, water. White Water was long before that. But the Clinton Foundation ended up getting uh, a lot of donations from the people that she was working with, uh, whether it was the Russian uh, 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 treaties that but they were working out. Can I ask out. you what the Clinton Foundation is? It's defunct now, I think, no, because no, it's not. it was no, it's a way not. of them stealing money no, that no, they no, made no, sure no, didn't no, go to Haiti. Oh, <laughs> really? They got something against Haiti now. Wasn't yeah, no. Yeah. You know, I was listening. I was watching uh, Newsmax today, and there's some guy who's a talk show host. He's an idiot, complete moron, who was spending it's, his whole time saying, are, well, you know, the Nazis were socialists. They are. No, they weren't. No, they weren't. They weren't. That's a, a go to Snopes. Nope. It's a it's a complete lie. They they were born out of a socialist party, right? Called the National Socialist Party. But when Hitler took over, he was anything but a socialist, and they were not socialist by nature. Yeah, they were going to take all the money no, from the Jews no, and no, give it to no, the no, no, uh, no, to no, the Germans. No, Phil, they were not socialist. Their homes, their businesses. They were not socialist, but this idiot thinks they were. A redistribution. You know. No. They stole from the Jews, and you well, know that's what socialism is. They steal from uh, one no, guy no, to no, distribute no, it amongst no, others, no, so they can stay no, as no, elites. You, and you wouldn't know socialism if it came and bit you in the ass. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. Because the minute you start uh, taking uh, Medicare and the minute you start taking Social Security, you're going to be I a fucking fucking socialist. Yes, I yes, paid Kevin. For that. Yes, Kevin. No, you're your 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 employer, which in your I case, am the employer. Yeah, <laughs> it paid for part of it, and uh, the government. Was the, employer. the government pays for another part of it. Yes, uh, Kevin, did you have something you wanted to say? I saw your hand go up. No, oh, okay. Charlene's got her hand up, though. Yes, yeah. Charlene. Yeah, She's just pushing my mic away. Mm. Oh, you, you well, just well, reminded me of the article that I read about how they think Trump's going to get in again because. They, they think that people are afraid when they hear Medicare for all, when the Democrats say that. Mm -hmm. They think that 
that means that they're going to mess around with the Medicare that we have now, mm -hmm. and people are afraid to. They want to just leave what we have alone, you know, because they want it to work and not get messed up. Right, they don't want to bankrupt. So Democrats, right? They don't want to be bankrupt, right? The Republicans are the one trying to mess up Medicare. Oh yeah, and Social Security. Yeah, and they're going to kill your kids. Take it away. Yeah, get mm. rid of it. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you know, uh, that's. Uh, but uh, I, uh, I, 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 we can get into socialism some other time. But we're we're treating socialism as a dirty word when it really is not a dirty it's word. Not. It is. So is liberal. Yeah. 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 Well, so is. So yeah, but we're not going to be so is fucking racist country, and yeah. so is Republican. And all these Republicans <laughs> yeah, that are keeping their mouth work. shut are also racist because they're not taking. To, no, Trump to task. They no, they're 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 not taking Trump to task, and they're complicit in this racist atmosphere. They, yeah. they this, see this through the racist. bullshit that the that the left is trying to label uh, as racist. Uh, is, you you just oh. go ahead, drink Time the Kool Aid, Phil. <laughs> Keep drinking your fucking Kool Aid. You know. <laughs> hey, listen, that's our theme song. I want to thank. Got you, my Kool Aid, Josh, for being here. <laughs> I want to thank uh, 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 Phil for being here. I want to thank uh, uh, the lovely and adorable Charlene for being here. Dan, thank you. Thank you, Kevin. Thank you, uh, 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 Tony, for being here. Jeff, it was nice having lunch with you. Uh, and uh, also, thank you, Charlie. And, uh, you know, it'd be really nice if the rest of you just kind of, like, wave goodbye to everybody. Okay. All right. Thank you, everybody. I appreciate it. Let me uh, let me just hang up on. I'm sorry we had trouble getting the show going tonight, folks. Um, but we got it all solved. For some reason, I think what happened is Skype upgraded itself, and when it upgraded itself, it completely shut down my uh, whole system, and I had to reset it. I noticed other things had changed too. So anyway, yeah. Screw Skype. Uh, uh, listen, I'm Alex Bennett. That's it for tonight. Uh, next is the intersection with Jack Bishop. And then I'll be back again tomorrow night. Uh, there'll be the uh, sports show at 8.30 with Franchise MC. And then I'll be back again, 10 o'clock. Same time, same station in life. And in the meantime, as always, if you see her, tell her I love her. Okay, everybody? Bye. <laughs>